during the demolition process, uh, we've discovered a body, um, a deceased body. A body found by crews working to demolish the Winters Hotel in Vancouver's Gastown neighborhood on Wednesday morning. Hours later, a second body discovered. Vancouver Fire and Rescue Services says the building burned down on April 11th because of some unattended candles. They add they haven't been able to complete a full physical search of the building because it's still too dangerous to go in. And they only found the first deceased person as crews picked debris apart with a machine. The body was um, located um, in the building uh, on the... I guess it's the on the third floor on the south side. We have a crew, an experienced crew on scene that's being contracted by the building owner, and they are very precisely removing bits and pieces of the debris of the building. And then we have people looking from above, and if we recognize something right away, we call an immediate stop. And that is what happened here today. Fire Chief Karen Fry says the deceased person hasn't been identified yet and the search of the burnt-out building isn't over. A preliminary investigation of the building found the sprinkler system had been turned off three days before the destructive blaze because of a previous fire on April 8th. Fire and Rescue Services issued a violation notice and an order to repair the sprinkler system, but it didn't get done before the fire three days later. That destroyed the building. Officials are calling that fire accidental. The City of Vancouver says demolition has been stopped until the BC Coroner Service gives the all clear. This is a very tragic situation and, and something hopefully we're going to be able to avoid in the future. Again, these are some of our most at-risk people in our community and we need to continue to do a better job as a province uh, looking after, uh, after these people in our housing units. The cause of the deaths is still unknown. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.